So this is going to be a little video about some programming I've done, um, specifically some programming on the iPad, which sounds like a contradiction in terms, but for those of you that don't know, there's a, a new programming environment called Pythonista. So I'm going to show you some of what I've been doing in the Pythonista environment. And so for those that don't know, Pythonista is a full programming uh, interactive development environment and so what you're looking at here for instance is some Python code zoom on the Pythonista system and I'm gonna so we have a file file system we have code and we have a console where I can actively type in Python commands so for example I can use the keyboard here or I can use the keyboard down below where you can't see with my hand to type program so I can uh, write Python code and specifically what I wanted to point show you is something I developed that I've shared out It's available on github and what it is is a flashcard program And so I'm going to go and run the program called flashcard.ui.py And what I get is the program and it's a large script of Python with something called the UI uh, interface and I would suggest for you to, if you have Pythonista to look into it but let's run it and what comes up is this screen and for, if you can't see you've got lists of chapters and these are basically folders in a file that contain nothing but pictures and I have the choice of looking at the image or the text or both or randomly the image and text for uh, doing basically flashcards so for instance, I'll hit the next flashcard. I'll choose which chapters I want to study. I'll hit next. And what I think that means is angry. And I'll check what the answer is, and it's to be angry. So I am remembering my American Sign Language. I can ask for the next image. And I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, and it tells me that that's purple. So wiggling the P fingers down is purple. I can ask for it in text mode and you'll notice it's a radio button group if I touch one the other ones turn off and that's done in programming in Python but let's go and quiz me on what I what I know by text to mean would be if I do this with my hands for those of you that know that's to mean let's see if I'm right there we go and so on and so on to have is to pull your hands in towards your chest and that's what it is if I don't remember and I want to look at the dictionary, I can click the dictionary button and now I get all of the words that are in my set of collected pictures that actually come out of the textbook. Uh, and if I want to jump around rather than scroll, I can hit that letter and I jump to the E's, I jump to the O's, I jump to the Y's, I jump to the M's, so to uh, many is flicking your hands up with fingers. I can go back to the trainer, I can go into random mode and it'll give me either that's a that's um I don't know what that is Boston that's why it didn't make any sense that's don't like actually no it's smart see I got to study I've been spending too much time programming anyway all of it's written in this Pythonista environment uh, the file structure so if you if you're a Python programmer and you are interested in developing your own tools in a very fully featured environment, this is it. Um, I don't know that I'll be posting other examples of this. I have this crazy idea to make a mandolin tuner, but uh, I've got too many other things to do in my short little life here. So I just thought I would share this with people who are interested in being able to program on the iPad. Uh, Pythonist is the tool. It's pretty powerful. Thanks. Bye.